this is the SGA that voted against or for tuition hikes. They didn't vote for the Bill of Rights, and they voted against gay marriage. And it was Travis Bolt that actually uh, introduced the resolution or uh, uh, stop gay marriage from actually being passed. Travis Galt, who is, I think, a gay man, um, but evidently doesn't represent gay people's interest. So they haven't done anything about tuition because they're getting paid. Uh, they're getting money from the administration. So since they're getting money, they're not actually going to represent the student body. Uh, the student body, which would be against any type of tuition hikes, since it's $9,000 now. And it was two thousand dollars seven years ago, so that's over a four hundred percent increase. Uh, but they did pass uh, parking fines. They will fuck you over if you are um, if, if you're parked in the wrong spot. So they're against gay marriage. They're for tuition hike increases. They're against the Bill of Rights. They're also against transparency. Uh, the Senate minutes. She always types the Senate minutes up, but they're too hard to actually, uh, you can't get to them, they don't post them. They don't post the minutes. So, uh, they're against transparency because they're corrupt as hell, and they don't want anybody to know how corrupt they are. That's why when I asked them if they were Greek, they lied about it, even though it's all public information. We're going to call the order. Unfortunately, Paul couldn't be here tonight because he had a uh, medical emergency. So I'm standing in for him. And we're going to start with roll call. Um, I've had a roll call. For the, those of you that are here, this will save me from being on face, as well as you guys. If you're a proxy and you don't know the answer, you don't have to. But I'm going to go ahead and take RSVPs for banquet this way for those of you that are here. Do we have anyone from the Safety Department Committee able to give a report? All right, moving along. Uh, Senate Spirit Traditions Committee, Chairman Amy Penny. Uh, we were just so spirited this weekend. We didn't have time to meet, but um, there's no way for it. Okay, Senate Sustainability Committee, Chairman Jerry Bozart. Um, no committee, for, no report from the committee, but kudos to Simon and Sari for bringing forth the sustainability bill tonight. Can't wait to hear about that. Okay, Senate Student Engagement Committee, Chairman Warren Stern. Uh, no report. Okay, moving on to old business. We have discussion of a resolution for an email and parking ticket. There's a motion on the floor. Second. Then we have a motion for to approve it. Not mind to have a one dollar fee added for our first year for even like a preliminary, even if, I mean, because this fee literally would not be passed for or even put before a committee to be passed for tuition and fees until next year. So it wouldn't be implemented until even. I graduate that following year. Um, so there's room for this to grow and like an application process to be added um, as far as that goes. And then it just is, becomes a wing or an RSO of its own entity. Senator Ansari. Uh, 
Senator Farrell, Joe Proxy. Yeah, just just make it clear if you say yeah you are in favor of objecting to objection of consideration for this resolution. If you say nay, then you want to hear this resolution out. If you abstain, then you're abstaining. Okay, Senator Hall is Yay means that you do not want this to come before the Senate. Nay means that you do want this to come before the Senate. Yeah, right out. So, yay is in support of Travis's. Right. Yes. Senator Meta? Yay. Senator Penny? Abstain. Senator Shepard's not here. Senator Stern? President Hager? So abstaining is kind of the same thing as saying no, right? Because it does. Uh, it, 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 so, so then, like the percentage for if this is yes or no is just based on who says yes. Or no. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. We abstention means nothing unless you're voting for unless you're voting for something other. Than SDA voting okay. against. Right. So abstention means you don't want to. tuition hikes. Or voting for tuition okay. hikes. So, so <laughs> the is just who says yes. Who says yes? No. There's some people who don't want to. Right. But the, the, the abstaining doesn't count. Point of process. Are we supposed to still do the roll call? Are you allowed to interrupt roll call? Yes, I have one order here. Point of process, though. We're doing a roll call. Right. Well, I'm saying that the roll call is actually out of order because you at some point actually said that the ICE had it, and I had that recorded um, on tape. So this is actually superfluous. And that you are increasing tuition. The SGA is increasing tuition. Because you've already voted. You called for division. We voted. The ICE had it. Now, the ICE no, I did not, not say ICE had it. Okay. We called for division. ICE didn't have it. Roll call right now. Not roll call. So. Uh, Senator Bevel. Yay. Senator Williams. Yay. Oh, point of order. He can't require it. Being retaken as a rising vote, so long as he does not use the procedure as a dilatory tactic when there has clearly been a full vote and no reasonable, no reasonable doubt of the result. There is no reasonable doubt of the vote we just took by our hands here. And there are proxies here who do not necessarily want to have their names associated. Uh, on record, and they don't have to, uh, per the way we operate the Senate. But this vote is done by now if you stop there roughly. Well, we, I'm just simply saying, I'm trying to protect members of the proxies who also don't necessarily want to have their name subscribed down uh, for this particular vote. We're not required to do that. I'm saying that this vote is out of order. It was didn't to be that we called the roll call. How does it, okay, so. I'm not actually sure. How does it work in our <laughs> because I believe that it's because you call for division, we raise our hands, and it was a clear majority. You can only call for a voice vote at that point in time if there's still inconclusiveness, or if it is clear, you know, when it is clear that there's no reasonable doubt of the result. That's only when you can call for via voice after you've done a call for division. What is my intention, though? My intention was that the your intention is not wrong. It's to put it in into record. My That's why. That if you place in the record, and it was clear that division could have done that. Does that matter for anything other than this? Um, if you, if it's in Robert's rules as such that I did, there was a clear majority uh, of objection to consideration. We're gonna have to go with. I'm gonna have to go with that and. Uh, Go back to my original decision that the eyes have it in the uh, 
and we'll record the numbers of the votes. And by that I need to, uh, or we'll record the numbers of the votes, uh, but put it off for right now. Uh, Dr. Carrier? Oh, okay, I have to your hand up. Uh, Austin? Yeah. Um, I guess my question huh? is, if we do resend this, is the same thing still being accomplished at, with the historian? Because my understanding was that the historian was put into place to keep accurate accounts of what happens at the Senate meetings. And what we're doing is a service to the historian.